To start processing employee pay, click Enter Time and Pay. There are various entry modes. Let's accept the default one and click Continue. The timesheet entry window opens. Let's go to the employee called Bill Carr. Let's pay him a salary amount. To preview his payslip, click Payslip. His payslip displays on screen so that you can check the details. Close the payslip to return to the timesheet entry window. When you're sure that the employee's pay details are correct, click Save. When you've saved every employee's payslip for this pay period, you are ready to end the pay period. Click End of Period. Now you can generate payroll reports for this pay period, such as the Control Summary and the Gross to Net Report. To set the next pay period, simply click Set Period. Specify the new pay period number. Like before, the key dates are taken from the payroll calendar. You're now in the next pay period. You're ready to begin processing employee pay in this period.